to our next comic, the very, very funny Alex Fleming! <laughs> Uh, it's really good to be here. My dad's an inventor, actually. That's true. <coughs> I used to work for Ronco. Anyone here remember Ronco? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you remember the motto was just said it and forget it. <laughs> which was weirdly also his style of parenting. <laughs> uh, uh, maybe just corporate loyalty? I'm not really sure. <laughs> uh, so actually, I'm having a kind of weird week. My doctor says that I can't hang out with any more people from the Midwest. Uh, yeah, because I have to start watching my salt of the earth intake now. <laughs> uh, so it, it's difficult because you know, son of an inventor, I'm not like a relatable person. And anyways, like I used to hang out with a bunch of magicians I met on meetup.com. <laughs> That's true. Uh, we would go to a mall to trade secrets. It was like if the Illuminati met at a Sabaros. <laughs> I was an aspiring professional magician until I blew out my wrist doing too much sleight of hand. Uh, <laughs> which was a joke. Uh, so, thank you. <laughs> I started doing magic when I was eight years old, and in high school, people used to call me Harry Potter, actually. Yeah, because I had uh, dark hair and round glasses at the time, and they didn't even know I did magic! <laughs> <laughs> it was such a waste of an insult! It's just like, come on! Get to know me a little better, be a better bully, you know? And work on my craft. Uh, so I remember very clearly the day when uh, my wrist gave out. I was doing a trick for my friend Michael, and he picked a card, we put it back in, shuffled it up. And I said, is this your card? And he said, no. And I said, no, oh, take me to the hospital! <laughs> so we get in his car, and we drive to the hospital, and there's parking, and finally I give him this triage, you know, all the insurance paperwork, because I'm in new to this plan, uh, and, and then there's, you know, tests, and uh, going in and out of metal tubes, uh, just waiting for the doctor in the nurse's office, and finally he comes in with a thick clipboard and a lab coat. The doctor just looks at me and says, I'm sorry, Mr. Fleming. We couldn't find what was wrong with your wrist. Uh, but we did find the six of clubs! <laughs> Deceiving you? Of course, that is uh, not true. The old habits die very hard. Um, the fact of the matter is, I uh, just have a day job in front of a computer, and so all day I was clicking and all night I was shuffling, and it's just too much for my delicate little wrists. Uh, but now I can say that working in an office literally took the magic out of my life. <laughs> Thank you. That's my greatest accomplishment as an artist. Thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, the weirdest part about being a magician, if I can be honest with you guys, uh, I used to get heckled by Wiccan people all the time. <laughs> Is anyone here Wiccan? <laughs> I, I don't want to like call you out. I'm not like a shock anti-Wiccan comic or something like that. And wonderful people. They have a beautiful, rich culture. If you know, if you're not, you know, like spellcasters, pagans, whatever. Great. Great people, beautiful culture, assholes during a magic show. <laughs> Every time I got the same complaint, or the same, the same thing after the, after the show, they would say, wow, that was great, that was so wonderful. Uh, just one thing, that's not real magic. That's just a trick. Can you do real magic? No! But w witches are impossible, so uh, if, if I do do a trick, they tell me to leave and go burn the wizard. If I don't, same thing. I got other Wiccans yelling at me for not spelling magic with a CK. I found <laughs> magicians who are coming after me for giving away secrets when I'm drinking. And it's like, <laughs> what do you want from magician society? <laughs> um, they want us to disappear. That is... <laughs> 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 Yeah, there's absolutely no need for live magic in this world. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Um, my grandma is slaying dick at the old folks' home right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
she's probably my biggest inspiration at the moment. Uh, since uh, Grandpa passed away, she's just been an empowered, modern woman. She had two dates to New Year's Eve. <laughs> she was fucking Zach from Saved by the Bell. <laughs> Uh, here's something, I hate, I hate when people talk about uh, robots taking our jobs, uh, like they're so surprised that the robots are taking our jobs when it's the one thing we built them to do. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, they have one job, it's our jobs, you know? <laughs> No one was like, whoops, I built this robot for friendship, but all it talks about is money. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Uh, I, don't, I don't mean to brag, I do uh, own a 3D printer. Uh, mine's a rescue, though, actually. <laughs> I'm not rich. Uh, I found this printer, fixed it up. If you're not familiar with this technology, wow, it's incredible. You can just make stuff out of plastic, whatever you can dream up, so people print uh, hands for little handless children, uh, or guns for little gunless children. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, honestly, I, I, do, I do wish, I wish this joke was funnier, you know? I, I really want to make um, 3D printing really funny. But I just don't think the technology's there yet. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, give us like five, ten years for like a really good 3D printer joke. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna catch up. Um, summertime, uh, excited about that. And we got a sunburn yet? I think so. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, last, uh, really bad sunburn I had. Uh, last year I went to Costa Rica with my girlfriend. Had the most amazing trip. And then I came back with the worst sunburn. Uh, chills, nausea. I was legally a tomato from head to toe. Yeah. And also there was peeling on my back. And that's when I learned my girlfriend's the kind of person who likes to uh, pick skin off of someone. Uh, you guys skin pickers? Anyone here? Okay. That's fine. I respect you. Anyone on my side? No? Like, I get there's like a biological imperative for like two monkeys pick shit off each other's backs, eat it, you know, whatever. Uh, but I was not prepared for her to start piling the skin flakes up in her lap. And then our cat came over and started eating them. I just didn't think the weirdest part of getting a sunburn would be learning my cat has a taste for human flesh. <laughs> um, but I shouldn't, I shouldn't have been surprised. Any cat lovers here? Yeah. You guys know your cats want to fucking eat you? Right? Uh, it's like science. Like, a, like an hour after you die, they just, if they're hungry, they will eat your body. So, I mean, really, I'm just giving them a safe, organic, natural alternative to what he really wants to do. You've heard of farm to table. This is arm to table. <laughs> Thank you. It was a very abrupt stop. <laughs> yeah. sort of like, I'm not okay with laughing at this. <laughs> His question: Can you say you've been in a fight if you don't throw a punch back? <laughs> yes. yes. No. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. Thank you. I just want to find out if I've ever been in a fight before. <laughs> I know I've been fought. <laughs> very successful. <laughs> um, the most recent fight that happens to me was uh, I got punched in the face for wearing a sports hat. Uh, I think he could tell that I'm the kind of person who calls it a sports hat. <laughs> 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 um, just going down this endless train of self-deprecation. Uh, uh, I'm allergic to uh, sulfites, um, the preservative that occurs uh, naturally in the wine distillation process. Uh, so I'm allergic to art gallery openings. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, because I don't drink wine and I don't smoke cigarettes, I'm legally banned from talking about Wes Anderson movies in public. <laughs> it's very hard uh, to be cool. Um, so guys, uh, you've been a wonderful audience. I want to leave you on a, on a, a very quick joke. Um, I am actually terribly afraid of punk rock ghosts. <laughs> they give me the CBGBs. Yeah. Thank you so much.